I wanna talk about the most common issue currently in print on demand businesses or POD businesses as it's easier to say. Um, I wanna tell you, the biggest issue is people think in 2020 there are no more profit margins for this business. There is just no margins, nothing. And why are you doing this? And if you look on YouTube, there are tons and tons of videos of people saying, don't do it, don't do it, there's no margins. But I wanna take a different approach on this. And I always like my YouTube channel taking some sort of different approach and not just taking a different approach, but giving you the reason why I think there is still a profit margin and how I think there's still a profit margin. So that's what we're gonna cover in this video. And I'm gonna go through the exact numbers I've got on my computer here. Let me just start the recording. I've got the exact numbers of how much the t-shirts cost, how much ads should cost, how many t-shirts it should take to find a successful one. And we're gonna go through all of those. And we're gonna use my trusty ink pen again because I love this thing. And the more I use it, the more, the better I'll feel about getting an iPad and eventually using that. But at the moment I can't justify spending that amount of money on an iPad. So let's get right into it. But before I do, please consider hitting that subscribe button. If you like any print on demand videos, you like any of these videos I'm bringing out, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification. In case you didn't know, I've got an incredible tutorial coming out on print on demand and it's going to be absolutely ridiculous. It's going to be well over an hour long and I guarantee you it's going to be the full, full package and it's going to be completely free here on YouTube. So definitely subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you know when I bring that out. So let's get right into this video. First, let's go through the numbers, okay? So over here, you can see I've got the numbers up. So the most basic, basic t-shirt is going to cost you $8.14, and that only comes in a variety of white to grays to blacks, okay? So let's say t-shirt, t-shirt costs you, how much was it? It was $8.14, okay? And again, let's just have a look at it here. You can see it pretty much only comes in these colors, right? Let's zoom in on this so you can see. Right, it only comes in these colors. That's not very interesting. If we wanna have any sort of colors, which is this one, the cheapest is 1264. So I'm going to put in here, um, B and W for black and white, and then I'm gonna put color, T's, and how much is that gonna look at? That's gonna cost us 1264, so let's put in 12, 64, right? So those are our base numbers. These are numbers that, this is how much it's going to cost us, right? Now, bear in mind with print on demand, and not many people know this as well, but print on demand, you don't actually have to pay this money until you sell the t-shirt. That's the brilliance of this business, right? The brilliance is you don't necessarily need startup money. If you have an audience, like a YouTube audience, and you're not planning on running any ads, it doesn't cost you a penny to sell this, okay? Because every single time you sell it, that is when you'll get charged this $12.64 or this $8.14, right? So until you actually start getting sales, you don't get charged anything. It's just genius, right? It's like a crowdsourced product. It's just, it's brilliant. Okay, so let's move on. When it comes to advertising, you're probably looking at spending around $10. This is where the problem comes in, okay? So adverts looking at around $10 per, per sale, okay? So let's put that in here. Now, if you think about it, that means you're spending, well, $18.14 for one or $22.64 uh, $22 for the other sale. Now, the issue with this, okay, let's move this over here so we could start like a nice fresh, we've got the numbers. The issue with this is that it's a t-shirt at the end of the day and you can't sell a t-shirt for $30, $40 unless you've got a very, very strong audience, maybe on YouTube or you've got some sort of brand name. Like if you're selling a Supreme t-shirt or a Balenciaga t-shirt, then yeah, you can sell it for a hundred pounds or a hundred dollars, but you don't. So what do you do here? Well, this is where it comes in. So let's say we're going to sell our t-shirt between 20, between 20 and $25. Okay. 20 being this one over here, 25 being this one over here. And that way we're making a bit of money, we're making four to five dollars per t-shirt. And I know it's not a crazy amount of money, but I'm gonna get into the profit side of this later on in the video. But I just want you to understand, profit is profit. I don't care if it's one dollar, I don't care if it's 50 cents, I don't care if it's 10 dollars, it's profit. Okay, it doesn't matter how much it is. So let's continue. We need to work on a design that has a viral aspect to it. This is where you're going to stand up from other people and you're probably thinking, well, how on earth do I create a shirt with a viral aspect to it? I have no idea how to do that. Well, 
firstly, that comes, it all comes in the research of the shirt and I'm not discussing the research of the shirt in this video. I've got another video and actually I've recently found a tool like Jungle Scout for Amazon, except this tool is for finding the best selling t-shirts. If you want me to tell you what this tool is, let me know in the comments and I can make a whole video review on it. I absolutely love this tool and it's one of the tools that I use to find the best winning t-shirts and it's really, really cheap. So let me know in the comments if you want me to make a review video on this tool and I'll even contact the company and see if I can get you some sort of discount. Um, so yeah, it will be an affiliate, but whatever, it's a brilliant tool. So, and I love it. So let me know in the comments if you want me to create a video on that tool to actually find winning designs. But the idea, what I'm trying to say is you want to go with a viral design. The reason you want a viral design is because you need the virality of this design to actually end up making money. So for example, if you have an ad, let's just, let's just go afresh here because the idea behind this is you need to have an ad that is going viral rather than just getting you paid clicks. So you've got your ad here, okay? And you've got your sales page here. This ad is, um, and you're paying money here, okay? So you're paying money towards the ad and the ad is driving clicks to here, okay, you're getting tons of clicks. But every click you get, it's costing you. Every click, let's say it's costing you $1. Actually no, we said about 10, so, well no, we said $10 per sale. So let's say each click is costing you $3, right? And it's taking about three to four clicks to get a sale. So you're looking at spending nine to $12 per click, uh, per, per, per sale at this point. Right, and you're driving tons of traffic and everything's going great, you're driving tons of traffic and you're getting those few sales. The brilliance of a viral kind of t-shirt, when I say viral kind of t-shirt, I mean a t-shirt with like a joke slogan on it, a t-shirt that is super targeted, that people love to share, and a t-shirt that has some variety behind it. So you need the person, so let's say you pay someone to go to your ad, you need that person to come and share it. You need them to comment, and you need them to like. All of this, right, you're paying for, right? Unless, and that's only if it's a page post engagement ad. If it's a clicks to website ad, then you're not paying for any of this, which is brilliant. But the reason why this is so good, and I'm gonna move down here now because this is really gonna, this is about to get epic, right? The reason this is so good is because let's say that this person who shares it has 300 Facebook friends, which is nothing, right? Some people have thousands, right? All of those 300 people on their newsfeed will see, right? but they'll see it for free, okay? They're seeing it free because this guy shared it and because, because he shared it, right? Because he shared it, it led to it showing up on his newsfeed and it led to all his friends seeing the ad. And now let's just say three of his friends shared it as well. You've got 300 more friends, 300 more friends. I'm just assuming everyone has 300 friends, but people have more, people have less. 300 more friends, right? They are now all seeing your ad for free, right? Because this guy shared it, three of his friends shared it, and now they're all seeing. Now, that's 900 more people. Now, out of those 900 people, let's say five people shared it, right? You can go on, I can go on for this forever and ever and ever and ever, but the point is, that's how a viral post works, right? These five people and these 900 people turn it into 2,000 people, and then those five people turn into 10 people who shared it, right? And then it turns into 4,000, and then 8,000, and that is how a post goes viral. So that is the most important part of an ad, and that is what you have to consider. So the hardest part about all of this business is not creating a, a t-shirt, it's finding a design and finding an audience on Facebook so that you can actually create a viral ad, right? When you have a viral ad, you are going to be sorted. So let's go through these numbers again, with that in mind. Let's move this out the way, right? I love this whiteboard thing. At the end, we'll have a look at the entire thing. So let's just go and say the average of the t-shirt costs, where are you, Mr. Penn? Okay, so t costs, we're gonna say $12, because I assume you're gonna to wanna to go for a color one, because it's just more chance, right? We're gonna say $12. The ad is going to cost us $10 per sale, so I'll do P, S, well I'll do sale to make it easier, per sale, okay, and we're going to sell 
for $25, okay? That means we're making a total of $3, so profit. $3, now, where does this become good? Now, if this is our numbers, right, those are our numbers, it doesn't matter that we're only making $3 per sale because firstly, firstly, like I said before, profit is profit. So even if you're making $3, you just ramp it up. And if you're getting 10 sales a day, you're making 30 sales a day, ramp up for day two, start making 20 sales, 30 sales, 40 sales, you're making $3 per sale, you're absolutely fine. You're going to be making an absolute killing. But even if we sell this t-shirt for 22, sorry, even if we sell this t-shirt for, let me just go back to the pen, even if we sell this t-shirt for $22 and we're making zero pounds, we are technically not losing money, right? So we want to keep the ad running. Keep ad. Oh, this thing is wild. Keep ad running, okay? And the reason, not running, running. The reason we want to keep the ad running is because if it has a viral, a viral if it has some viralness, that's not a word, but if it has some viralness to it, right, you're eventually going to get that person who shares it, who shares it, who shares it, who shares it, and you're going to eventually just go viral, right? That's the idea. And that is when you start getting free sales because of the people who click the ad and go to the sales page, then you're not paying for that, but you are getting a sale every few clicks, right? And that way you're still spending $10, right? per sale that you're paying for through the ad, but now you're getting a lot more sales. So your overall has gone down. So now you're spending a lot less per sale and you're actually making money. So it doesn't matter that you're breaking even, even if you're breaking even for the first week or the first two weeks, it doesn't matter. The only time you stop an ad is if you are losing money on it. If you're not losing money on it, then don't stop the ad, keep it going. I don't understand these other videos on YouTube where they're like, you're only making two or three dollars, so pause the ad because it's not worth it. What does that even mean? It's profit. Who cares if it's $3 profit, right? You just have to ramp up, scale up, and you'll get more $3 profit sales. It's just like, is that not common sense right now? See, most people talk about how this business is about making instant profit, instant money, and if you're not making instant money, you have got to stop. But that mentality is so poisonous, it's so bad. You don't want the mentality of, making instant money because that doesn't really exist and where it does exist it's not scalable right if you're making instant money then there's something there which is unique and it's not it's probably not scalable and when i had my t-shirt and i was making instant money right from some of my designs i made instant money some of them i broke even and then eventually started making money the ones that made instant money i was like this is amazing oh my gosh what's going on here i'm making so much money so fast i'm putting a t-shirt out there and i'm making money the next day now Yes, that is possible, but that is not real life. It's not realistic, and that's not what you should be aiming for, because if that is what you're aiming for, you're going to give up very, very quickly. Treat this like a real business, right? Real businesses don't make money overnight. Treat this as a business. Make Try and make money over a long period of time, and that way, firstly, you'll have a lot less pressure on yourself, and also, you'll be able to treat this like a proper business. So now, I want to just quickly discuss with you, I wasn't gonna put this in this video, but this is a bit of an extra thing. I want to discuss with you how many t-shirts it probably takes to find a winning design. So on average, okay, now, depending on how good you are at this, but on average, I, I say, if you're brand new to this, it takes about five, let me put, five to 10 designs to hit a successful one, okay? Which means it's gonna cost you five to 10 designs worth of advertising to find a successful one. And how much should we be spending on advertising? So I say you should spend about $25 per design to test it. If not $25, then 30 clicks to the page. So either $25 or 30, clicks, whichever comes first, okay? Now, if these clicks are showing that they cost you like $10 each, then you don't wanna spend $300, so obviously pause that ad because it's not gonna be profitable. But you want to spend $25 or 30 clicks. If that's the case, you're looking at spending $125, sorry, my math is not that good today, my brain is still a bit fuzzy, to $250, right? You're looking to spend this amount of money to find a, a successful t-shirt. Now the thing is, when you find a successful t-shirt, I can pretty much guarantee you, you're going to make more than $250. Because if you're not, it wasn't a successful t-shirt. For example, my successful t-shirts have made six, seven 
thousand, maybe even eight thousand. I can't remember the numbers, but they've made thousands, thousands and thousands. I think my best one made about eight thousand or more. It probably made more at this point. It was a while ago, but you're going to make a lot more than two hundred fifty dollars. Let's put it that way. So in terms of this business, the startup costs that you're looking at are about one hundred and twenty-five to two hundred fifty dollars. If you are really good at the research, and for example, if you use this tool, and again, let me know if you want me to make a video on it. I don't want to spoil it, I don't want to ruin it and give it away here. But if you use something like this, you are more likely to find a design more quickly. You've got to go into social media differently now in 2020. You've got to approach it with YouTube, with Instagram, with TikTok, with Facebook, with, with everything, right? With Quora, with LinkedIn. You've got to just approach your ads differently in 2020. And again, this video wasn't about the advertising aspect. It was just about the profit margin aspect. I will make a video on the advertising aspect. And just to remind you, my full tutorial will have all of this information in it in an indexed, like categorized format. So you actually have to follow it like a course, but it will be on YouTube for free. So definitely consider subscribing so that you can watch that tutorial so you know when that comes out, it's going to be pretty epic. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's video.